Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Unpro Pro here. Alright, and welcome back to another episode of the How to Make a Side Scroller series. And in this episode, we are going to be making a little character and having him walk around. Now, it's not that hard to do, but um, it'll teach you a little bit about scripting too and how the scripting of this uh, engine works. And it's, it might look confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's not confusing. So first, we're going to go up here to the top left corner, click Add Actor. Now we're going to add an actor called the player. We're going to make sure it's a normal type of actor. Click Add, and uh, make sure this little window here is open. You can do that by right-clicking, clicking Actor Control. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click Add Animation over here. And we are going to go to File. And if you want to find all these graphics, you can find them in the Game Editor folder, the Tutorials folder, and then the Data folder. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the character Stop Right. There we go. We're just going to click OK. And do the same thing with the character Stop Left. And we're going to do the same thing with the character right. Remember the order? Make sure the order is about the same. Uh, otherwise, you might end up getting a little confused. The frame rate, we're going to set for 12. And let me explain how this works. You see the, uh, the height? There are seven little dudes. What the vertical and horizontal frames do is it divides either the width or the height by whatever uh, number you set. So dividing it by seven means it does one... Uh, horizontal thing and it does seven vertical readings uh, what that basically means is if you have a sprite sh uh, sprite sheet with seven characters tall and two characters wide you would select the horizontal frames two and uh, vertical frames seven dividing the image and then kind of making it shift from left to right and then it goes down from there so the frame rate is going to be 12 and we're going to click OK we're also going to do the same thing for the character left. Frame rate 12. It should automatically set itself. If not, then uh, go ahead and try to find out your own values there. You can always adjust them if you wish to. Now we're going to add jumping animations. So select character right. Click add sequence. And if you didn't select that and you clicked it already, it's okay. You can go ahead and select it from here. Select character right. We're going to name it jump right. Now, we're going to give it the frame animation of 1. So it's going to take the first frame, or the second frame technically, because 0 counts as 1. So it's going to take that frame and then turn it into a, a solid animation. So now we're going to select character left, do the same thing, jump left, give it the frame animation of 1. Now we're going to select the default as character stop right. Now here's where the movement comes in. First thing we're going to do is go over to the events, and we're going to click add, and we're going to uh, select key down. Now we're going to press right, we're going to keep repeat enabled. Click add action. We're simply going to do x plus equals 5 semicolon. Go ahead and click add, click immediate action. Now select disable, and click add action. Do another script editor. Now this is where it gets kind of fun. So we're going to create two variables. Uh, the first variable we're going to create through the variables command right here. So click variables, and we're going to select add. And we're going to make it an integer, make it a global variable. And we are going to give it the name dir, standing for direction. Click add, and close. Now the other variable, we're going to create a string, which is called a char, or a character variable. So we are going to just, we're just going to simply type C H A R and you see how it turns blue. Space star or shift eight or asterisk key equals now this part's case sensitive, get key state. So G, K, and S have to be capitalized. Um, through programming, everything is very, 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 very case sensitive. Uh, for very important reasons, obviously. So in between brackets you're not gonna put anything, and then you're just gonna put a semicolon. Now we're going to do if key key left equals equals zero. Now this is a little half square, and that's the closing half square. Case sensitive again. This is the variable here. What this is doing is this this program this line right here allows you to check and see what keys are currently being pressed before you press the uh, right key. So if you're holding down the left key, for example, and you press right, that's how we can determine which animation gets selected. So that's going to prevent what's known as the moonwalk bug. 
the moonwalk bug is when if you're if you press both keys he'll start walking in place and then when you release one of the keys he starts sliding backwards and this is how you can fix that so make sure you're typing everything correctly if key key left equals equals zero and then that bracket which is shift and little half square I don't know the different names of these things <laughs> I'm sorry guys it seems like they're all called brackets or something now we're going to type dir equals zero so if you just press right he's going to go right and he's gonna change his animation to the right animation so underneath dir equals zero we're gonna to go to variable slash functions change animation we're going to do character right forward add now we're going to close that off with the opposite ending of this bracket now we're going to do else if we're going to do pretty much the same thing key key left oops equals equals one so if you're pressing left before you press right it's going to change his animation to stop left so he faces to the left so that's going to uh, help stop the the moonwalk bug we're going to end off that we're just going to click add immediate action now click on clear now we're going to press left select enable again and then we're going to do x minus equals 5 instead of plus equals 5 and then we're going to pretty much do the same thing for disable that we did with the other side so char star key equals get key state okay so I went ahead and I typed pretty much the same thing we did with the key right except I changed uh, the things from key left over here to key right and um, I forgot to do something on the last one which I'm going to go back and explain I forgot to change the direction to make it to make the character face the certain direction so we're gonna click add after you got done typing the same thing except for the opposite controls click add action now we're done with that uh, I do need to go back to the key down right without the repeat and I need to add the R equals one so when he's facing to the stop left so when he's facing left he's this direction variable is left when it's when he's facing right it's zero which is right click add or immediate action and now let's test that out yeah you see all programs and there you go uh, as you can see there's that bug that I mentioned so you're probably wondering how you fix that really 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 simple it's not as hard as you think although when you're trying to figure it out by yourself it can be really mind-blowing but once you know how to do it it's so simple first thing we're gonna do is click add we are going to do key up events we're gonna do key right so just by pressing the right key add action script editor now we are going to do char star key again equals get key state so we're gonna check if key key left equals equals zero so if you're not pressing left then it's going to do character stop right forward however and dir equals well you don't have to do that because the uh, the key down events handles the direction so we don't need to do that with the key up now we're gonna do else if key oops key left equals equals one then it's going to change his animation to walk left. So if you're hold, if you're pressing the left key when you let go of the right key, he's going to continue walking to the left. So we're going to select all that, uh, select copy, and we're going to do. We're just going to press left, and it's going to change that right there. And you know what? Instead of pasting it, we're uh, just going to have to retype it because sometimes, as you can see, it glitches out during the pasting. So char star key equals get key state again you can also shorten this uh, by using uh, definitions which I'll be explaining later probably if key key right equals equals zero so if you're not pressing right change the animation to stop left if you are pressing right is one oops so if you are pressing right then it changes the animation to walking right click add 
and there we go so we're gonna test that out and as you can see it now works there is no more moonwalking you have the perfect walking system so that does it for this episode i thank you all so very much for watching and i'll see you all later